Hmm. Maybe it's for the best that you are not coming along. Too much excitement could be bad for your health. You mean, if I don't do anything, I'll probably have a few more years to live? That's right. Keep your chin up. Oh, man. Keep your chin up. I'm loving this, man. That whole thing with the pills, that was that was awesome. Characters. Oh, my God, we threw them oh. in the water. Dude, that's amazing. Why are we... Especially, it's like, what? okay, is that just because we don't want to be reminded of our condition? We tried to get rid of them at some point. Man, he's really trying to not act his own age at all. Or, I mean, is this part of, your, like, a fake persona of some kind? He's, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, uh, maybe he ne doesn't have a heart problem at all. Maybe he's the raven. Duh, duh, duh. <laughs> like, that hasn't been said before. <laughs> um... A new car pulled up. Yeah, Let's talk to yeah. The big man. I'm also thinking that with the captain as well being ill, what's the chances we're going to be in a shipwreck? What are the odds of that? Oh man, James! Oh, that's James! Come here, girl. Hey, where, where on earth, earth are you? Hello, Baroness. Ah, Inspector. Constable. No, constable. Poppycock. You won't be a constable much longer. <laughs> a great word. When they find out it's how you rescued word, that yeah. little boy, they'll have to promote you to inspector. Very kind of you to say so, Baroness. Yes. It makes you wonder how certain words are made popular, like poppycock. Yeah, I guess it was just like... Like, faggot used to just literally mean like a bundle of sticks, and the yeah. meaning of that yeah. word has just transformed so many times. Like, faggots are things that we eat in this country as well. They're like big meatballs. They're, they're delicious. Um, well, I want some faggots. Too. Adventure in the tunnel! I hope some faggots in my mouth. Adventure in the tunnel <laughs> Scandalous! You book a first-class cabin, and Christ. then you're walking on the rail. <laughs> They wanted to bundle me off in a bus without my luggage. The circumstances, madam. I insisted on a limousine and didn't leave until all my luggage was recovered. Okay, I missed all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Something about her luggage. Okay. Did you know Still thinking about that big the real meatballs? eye of the Sphinx wasn't even on the train? I had no idea. Inspector Legrand seems to prefer to keep me in the dark, although I'm the one paying for all of this. The inspector is ensuring the safety of the eye. Well, obviously. All the same, it was you who did the real work on the train. Oh. I've got a crazy idea. Hear me out. She's the raven. That's it. That's the idea. What do you think? Um, journey to Cairo. Yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and... <laughs> I'm glad you have faith in my idea. I dear. hope that the remainder of your trip to Cairo will be less stressful. You aren't coming with us. Pay for me. I'm afraid Inspector Legrand doesn't want my company. Well, that's a Dang. pity. In my opinion, another policeman guarding the eye certainly wouldn't Dude, hurt. Dude, that's why he doesn't On want us there. On the other hand, you didn't manage to return my purse. But oh, oh. no offense. Say, we missed that! Ah. Uh. Um, now, um, where's my damn how, you, how you know we missed it? Oh, because she said it? You never know. That could have been a branch. James, there you are. Is the inspector to carry my luggage onto the ship all by himself? Uh, inspector. Well, actually... <gasps> Whoa. Baroness? Baroness, what? can you hear me? <laughs> she fainted. No. No. Baroness? Did I see something? I think Again. I saw something. Oh, oh my god, we're slapping her! Hello, can you hear me? I... Help me up. What did she uh, say? Perhaps we should... No. That scale was I riding quite high as well, actually. No, 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 Doctor. Just a little moment of weakness. Your arm, James. Take me to the ship. But of course, madam. What? What was all that? Also, have you noticed how that thin her upper arms weakness? were for being such a weighty woman? She saw something that shocked her. Hmm. Or someone. Yeah, th there was something on... I saw something peep out. Especially since she doesn't want to admit it. What is this? I was going to say something as well before that. There's so much going I on now. Yeah. Now, now like, the more of the stories come, come to flourish. Well, what was she talking about before she fainted? No, she just turned. She turned and she looked at the ship and something popped out. 
I have to look back on the she footage went through, now. She went. She looked in her binoculars up at the ship, saw something and fainted. But the other thing I was going to mention, right, is about Legrand being the uh, the Raven. This is why he doesn't want us there so desperately because two, another police officer would help. He doesn't want mm -hmm. us getting onto him. We mm -hmm. can make for the ship or look at the car. That's a fine automobile. It is. But not even a stately sedan like this can handle all the Baroness's luggage. She was lucky that the second and third freight cars weren't buried in the tunnel. Most of her things made it unscathed. Hmm. Okay. A life of wealth. Right, do you want to make for the ship? Yeah. What's this? Let's oh. do it. Aha! Uh -huh. Who or what did she see? Aha! Uh -huh. That was a Lara Croft thing there. Oh my god. It's going to become a first person shooter. Neither of them seems to have noticed what happened down here. <laughs> You'll have a tough time with her. <laughs> I got slapped. <laughs> Rejected. How does one get aboard without a ticket? Hmm. Not brilliant, but it's a possibility. He basically said like two words to her and then got slapped. He was like, hello, <laughs> slap. <laughs> it's like insta rejection. Okay, right. Oh my god. Oh. Look at the crane. Is this really going to be yeah. a part? Are we going to load ourselves on? I think you're right, actually. Yeah, in a box. Just like every store. Away. Living in a car. Wait. Cardboard box. Yeah. Am I in the cardboard box? Is that song? I think it is. Or it might be a weird blend of songs again. Ship. But those days are long past. We used to abseil? Holy jeez Louise. Living in a cardboard box. Living in a box. Enjoy the view. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to see the sights in Venice. Paperwork served up by my Italian colleagues took up most of the day. That sucks. Leaning Tower of Pisa would have been lovely to see. Do we want to try and just board regularly? Uh, let's have a look here. Magnifying glass. What Hold on, what? There was a... Yeah, just board the ship then. There's two. There's one that's on the thi on the w gangway. There was a third one. What the heck? Where did it go? Where's the third one? There was a third one. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we get it. We get it. We get oh, okay, it. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> board the ship or look at the captain. Where? Let's look at the captain. How much did Legrand tell him? Mm. He must know what his ship is carrying across the Mediterranean. But does he also know about the burglary on the train? And the explosion. All right, okay, guys. Um, so we want to have a quick look at the notebook here too. Well, I want to have a look at the, the, the notebook, okay, right? Because we've got all this new stuff here. So um, this was all here before, but first constable Robert Oliver. What does what do we think of him? We've got cool pictures as well. Plus, well, wait, there's been barely any reading in this th this series, man. All right, Doctor <laughs> Doctor Gebhardt. Dr. Gebhardt seems to have high hopes for his new job in his life, really. And he advised me to take it easy. If I take care of myself, my heart will keep up for a few more years. But would that be any way to spend my last years? So really, it's not about him, it's about us, really. That little monologue. Um, shadow on the train. The constable seems an honest... Wow, that's weird. So if you actually look, you got the constable, and then the next page is more information about the constable. Oh, so we can just scroll through. Okay, that works. The constable ah. seems to be an honest man, but not a clever one. He worships Legrand. That much is clear. He's proud to be working at the side of the great detective. To be honest, I'd feel the same in his place. Ah, see, we're humble. We're honest. Right, next section. Shadow on the train. Matt saw a shadowy figure on the train. Could it have been the new raven? Someone must have placed the letter on the safe. That much is clear. But the raven paid accomplices in the old days. Maybe the new raven does the same. The shadow lost a ticket for Mediterranean cruise. Its final destination? Cairo. I think I know what else will be on board. Yes, which we do, because it's a little bit further forward. Three keys. According to Legrand, the safe transporting the Eye of the Sphinx to Cairo is secured by three locks. Professor Lucien, Baroness von Trevitz, and Dr. Mokhtar, the director of the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, each have one. We have to assume that the raven already managed to make an impression of the professor's keys on the train. He may also have already copied the director's key. That just leaves Baroness von Trebitz's key. Okay, old raven against new raven. Inspector Legrand harbors the suspicion that he shot the wrong man five years ago. 
If that's true, then the raven may have returned after all. The ground's evidence? The raven feather. The handwriting in the letter and the fact that the writer addressed him as Nico. Something only the old raven did. This was something I wanted to mention too, dude. Think about this, right? He had like an extensive history with the old raven because they used to send letters to each other and stuff. It wasn't just like a fire and forget incident. It was yeah. like a big thing, seemingly. Um, and of course, this is why Legrand's reputation is at stake, because for his theory to be true, it means everything his career is built off of, this original incident where he caught the original Raven, is just a lie. So he would lose his career and all credibility, unless, at the same time, he was like, but I found the real Raven right here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it could be that just that the, the Raven had, like, someone who was, like, his assistant or yeah, well, another, he paid, one other person. He paid accomplices, yeah. Uh, captain De Conti as well. According to Dr. Gebhardt, the captain of the Lydia is an old war hero, but he's fallen into poor health of late. Apparently, he's been shuffled off to this post. Okay. Right, that's everything. Just wanted to catch up, keep people in the loop. Do we want to try and board the ship now? Yeah. Oh, listen to those seagulls. Beautiful. You find it relaxing. Do you like put it on before you go to sleep? It's like like the sea, basically. I like I like rainymood.com. Oh, it's not oh, yeah? original, but Rainy Mood is awesome. Signore. This is Constable Anton Zellner. Signor oh. Zellner. Oh fuck! He's I there. heard about your feats in the mountains. Welcome aboard the MS Lydia. Oh my god! Thank you, Captain. I didn't know you'd be taking uh -huh. part in the journey, but I'm glad to have you with us. I'll have a nice cabin prepared for you immediately. Wow. The constable will not be joining us. He has other duties. Wow. Oh, that's too bad. I would have loved to hear about his adventures from the man himself. Wait, our adventures? What? Journeys to Egypt? I'd like to accept your offer, but unfortunately, higher powers prevent it. I am sorry to hear that. We are by no means full, and have plenty of room for one more passenger. The constable just wants to have a quick look around and then leave before we set sail. When will that be? Oh. Oh, in about uh, 15 minutes. There you have it, constable. Hmm, suspicious chest. May I ask how to get to the cargo hold? Oh, signori, there are much nicer places on board. But I'm interested in the cargo hold. Why is that? One of the trunks seems suspicious to me. Someone could be hidden in it. You... <laughs> you want to imply that the most brilliant and probably richest thief in all of Europe is stowing away in a trunk? That's not his style. That's what makes it more likely that it's not him, but a copycat who's behind all this. And a copycat's style might include doing whatever it takes. Like hiding in a trunk if they've lost the ticket. Oh, come now. Actually, it would be possible for a registered passenger to board the ship without a ticket. Hmm. I don't know, dude. See, the other thing is... Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say again. <laughs> what was I going to wow. say? What was I going to say? There's something really important that I just thought of. Well, not that important. About the old and new raven? Yeah, about the... Oh, no, no, no. I was just going to say that he, he, if the more you have a style, probably the more likely you are to get caught. If you're unpredictable right. and do weird stuff like that, then you're more difficult to catch, right? You're a slippery well, fish. Right. I was thinking about that, but uh, I think what he was getting at is that, you know, he wants, to, he wants the thrill of being hidden in plain sight, maybe. Right, yeah. Yeah, I've got you. Okay. Instead of just being a stowaway, what you do know, you that's mean? boring. Yeah. You can't buy a ticket for the Lydia at the counter. You book the trip in advance. We know the names of all the passengers. As long as a passenger is on the guest list, we let them board the ship. Doesn't matter if they have a ticket or not. And did any of the passengers board without a ticket? I couldn't say. We ask for a name and check it on the list. The tickets are no more than souvenirs for the passengers. So much for your trunk theory. Well, did the raven Regardless know Regardless of what you say, I would still like to examine the cargo hold. All right, then, if you like. But we'll meet here again in ten minutes. Captain, Captain Super Mario before there. we depart, I'd like to send two telegrams. 
Certainly, Inspector. Oh, the captain? The cargo <laughs> hold is over there. You can enter through a door oh, on the warrior. forecastle. The horn will sound <laughs> twice, five minutes before we set off. That's the signal for all the dock workers to leave the ship. Understood, Captain. Follow me to the bridge. You can send your telegrams from there. Is that on a didn't My that time is running out. If I don't find anything in the cargo hold, my cruise will be over before it even begins. Dude, we're just gonna get caught in there, aren't we? We're gonna get locked in or something. Yeah, I think something's gonna happen instead of like oh, him no. actually breaking the rules. Oh, it's very dark. Oh, this is like Titanic. That 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 oh. scene with the with the the, oh, the car, yeah. man. The foggy glass. That's yeah. such a hot scene, man. Jesus, like a young. Oh. Well, it, is, it was hot in the car, yeah. Oh yeah, hot. yeah. That's that's all I meant. Yeah, just the temperature yeah. was quite high. That's of course, all. of course, that's what you meant. Yeah. Um, examine the cabriolet. Beautiful. That's the young woman's cabriolet. Apparently, they absolutely <laughs> had to take her? it to Egypt at daddy's expense, of course. What cow she was. Whatever. Maybe I'm just jealous of her lovely cars and beautiful You love. said cow? You called her a cow? Yeah, that's... I'm just being mean. <laughs> I'm just being mean. Let's search this locker over. There's a lot to interact with in here. The door to this locker is ajar. Empty. Amazing. Next locker. Hmm. The left three lockers are locked. Okay, do we want a key then, I wonder? Hmm. Magnifying glass. Uh, I feel almost cheap doing it this much, but hey, it just helps. It's a quality of life thing. It's actually not yeah. showing anything here. So Look, we got 9,000 points now. It's over 9,000. <laughs> oh, gosh. We can leave go, the car. Go in the front. Thing. No, no, no. Go, go, f go uh, yeah, turn the camera and then use it. Oh, there it is. Look into the dark. Examine the cylindrical the object abyss. as well. The tires. Looks like to me. Oh, what's this? Oh no. Ah. Aha. That works. Flashlight. Awesome. So now we can look into the darkness. With oh, we've still got the binoculars too. That's I wouldn't be able to see all of the cargo hold without the flashlight. But even with the flashlight, it's rather creepy in here. All right, that's fine. I, w I didn't really want to examine it. I wanted to. I wouldn't be with able it. to see. Okay, but apparently I can't, so I guess it'll just automatically do it because it's in our hands. Yeah. So yeah, how did we look so. into the darkness? I couldn't quite see where to click there. It doesn't appear to oh. be anywhere to click at all. Are you sure you saw that as an option? Yeah, look into the darkness? Yeah, I guess. Oh, I just clicked and it moved me oh. over. There you go. Oh, I guess it's this because is... without the flashlight, we couldn't have walked down here, I guess. Examine the chest. <clears throat> Hello? <laughs> Come on out. Open the chest. The game's up. I... I'm opening the trunk. He's locked. Nervous? Oh no. You wouldn't be nervous? I would be nervous. Dark room, hey. flashlight. Hello? Oh, oh, oh. Dude, we weren't gonna play any more scary games. What the hell just happened out there? Do you wanna go out? Or, or keep looking around in here? Is, is there anything more? There's loads in here. This looks like dynamite. Dynamite! You gotta step on it. Boom! Boom, shake the house. I guess there's nothing else. Yeah, I guess he only came down here for the for the chest. Alright, let's... Uh-oh. Something's gonna happen. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, shards. Something Hiding happened. in the locker? The shards are... Uh-oh. <laughs> I startled too easily. Oh, dude. Oh, he's gonna get caught. He's gonna get trapped in here. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh! I knew it! I knew something was gonna happen to him. He looks He's gonna so get... creepy in the back corner. Whoa, we're bound and gagged. 